Is it down to education as well? We're not teaching the, the Christian principles as well and we see children sexually uh, active from a younger age and they're just simply not aware of the consequences. They make a mistake, they make the wrong decision and then they abort the baby. Do you think it's down to also education? What do you think? But it's all about education. Education and politics are inseparable. And so when you, again, teach people that they're nothing but thinking animals, that there is no God, when you're teaching atheism only in your schools, which is what the teaching of evolution is, it's the teaching of pure atheism, then there's no, no value to human life. There's no purpose to human life. If there's no purpose to human life, this is one reason, for instance, why people commit suicide. They've simply figured it out. Mm -hmm. If there's no purpose to life, there's no reason to stick around. Well, again, children can be aborted. And, and I hate to say this, but even going back uh, in the history of England, back to the 1950s, and I saw it also in Berkeley in California in the 1950s. But if you believe that people are nothing but thinking animals and they're going to do it, then all you do is teach them how to, how to do it, quote unquote, safely, even though, of course, there is no such thing as doing that safely. There are going to be consequences, whether they're psychological or whether they're medical. There are going to be consequences of inappropriate behavior. If, if we teach people to think with a Christian biblical worldview, then these problems would be eliminated. Because in a Christian biblical worldview, every human being has infinite eternal value and worth. Now, if you looked at the person sitting next to you and say, well, that person has infinite eternal value and worth, and so do I, that could change your way of looking at yourself. I mean, there are people who have a problem with self-esteem, self-value, self-worth. But if they realize that they were uh, made in the image of God with eternal infinite value and worth, they would think much better of themselves and of everybody else. And they would realize that we are all equal in God's sight. But if you're going to teach evolution and you teach that they're supposedly survival of the fittest and natural selection and so forth, as I say, which do not actually promote evolution, they actually prove creation. Uh, but if you believe that, then people are going to believe that I have a right to take, you know, whatever you have, including your life, because it's it's a meaningless thing. And I'll be better off for it because I'm superior to you, you're inferior, etc. This is what leads to racism. This is what leads to the use of pornography and not just abortion and euthanasia. There, there are many other aspects to this in society, but it's all founded on the acceptance of creation versus evolution.